So another commit chain approach that was proposed after Plasma Cache is NoCast. In NoCast, you have, again, uh, the centralized operator, right? You have the off-chain transactions, and this operator performs a checkpoint on-chain. Now, the uh, the difference here to to Plasma Cache is that the deposit is a is is a coin, yes, but it's a it's a fungible coin. So it means you can you can divide the the amounts. So in particular here, this is the Merkle tree that represents the the account, right? For example, the account number one has 10, 10 coins, right? The he has the amount from zero to ten. The account number two has ten coins. Account number three has five coins, etc. Um, Nocast also specifies a way of uh, performing uh, so-called passive payments where the recipient is offline, um, which is which is an interesting feature. So if you want to go into the full details, I can recommend you looking into this paper. Um, you have a register process that's off-chain, right? Yeah, so you have a user that's registering with an, with a, with a, with an operator. Uh, then you can deposit, you can transfer, uh, every transfer needs to be validated and approved by the by the operator. Uh, so this means the operator can also censor transactions, right? Which is which is not always desired. Something um, that you you can look into if you don't like it. Uh, maybe you can design a new protocol, like an off-chain protocol that is uh, censorship resilient. And uh, a user can also also withdraw uh, by interacting with the smart contract directly. He doesn't actually. Uh, needs to necessarily ask the operator depends a bit on 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 the on the setting. You can also just exit here, for example, by um, working with the with the smart contract. Now the accounts and the balances they are accumulated here, for example, with a Merkle tree and written into a smart contract. This is just a hash. If the user um, um, looks like Looks into the um, into the representation of the accounts and balances and finds that the particular user balance is not properly uh, defined. Then the user can issue a challenge, so it's a fraud proof. And um, if the if the operator doesn't respond with a with a proper answer, then the operator will be shut down. So then the operator is basically in a recover mode. So what means is here you can basically you can basically lose some of your assets that you have done in the in the previous round or eon that are not yet confirmed on chain. Right. So this is a it's a bottleneck, but that's that's one of the one of the um, one of the drawbacks that is being considered here. So instead of using a Merkle tree, we could also use a zero knowledge proof, right? So you can construct a zero knowledge proof that represents the whole uh, the whole user accounts. And then you have a proof of account integrity, right? So you, for example, take the previous checkpoint into account, the new checkpoint, the state update, the user account, and you can combine these. And um, this is a this is a possibility, and then you can you can write this on chain. So the good thing here is if a user actually is able to challenge the uh, the operator, then this is an immediate proof of misbehavior, and then the commit chain has to halt. Right. So there's no challenge response protocol here between the operator, which is good because it makes the whole protocol less interactive and safer for the users.